And once again, we are joined by the fedora wearing John Hudson, where we take a look at everything UFO and the stories that are making it throughout the headline news. John, welcome back, buddy. I know you haven't been feeling well lately, and I know uh, you took a week off last week, but we're sure glad to have you back, my friend. Oh, I'm very happy to be here too, too. David. I just, I just finally sent you the uh, itinerary. I apologize for not doing that earlier. Ah, that's um, okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Let's get right to it. This Astro thing, man, this is a huge, huge report that could be coming out. Let's, let's let everybody know what Astro is. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, I mean, this is, um, God, what's the best way to think of this? You know, the, the best way to think of this is, is really is the one reason why you see a lot of repetition in, in, in what you see in, in, in all of this movement is that, is that there, there are repeated things being attempted. There are repeated, um, attempts being tried to do things and each one of them is like oh another swing at the swing at the fences right and and we all keep hoping in that one of these is going to is going to make contact right and so this this case is one of those where essentially you know you have um you know you i mean i mean basically it it's it's twofold right it's it's one that it has a lot of very cool provisions in it it's written in a way that's very sensical it's very it's very logical to me anyway uh, to me it was very easy to understand it wasn't it wasn't it didn't seem to be hiding anything in a lot of convoluted language and you know and so it was easy to understand from that point of view and then outside of that point of view because a lot of us, myself included, aren't super familiar with how the gateway works and, and, and beltway works and how the whole that whole apparatus of Congress works, is that what we've been watching is we've been watching the selling of the, a lot of this language that has been passed around for a couple months now, right? And and seeing who can get attracted to it and who cannot. And so essentially with with this whole astro um uh which I love I love the name of it, um it cracks me up. Um, uh, you know, is now basically getting a, a bunch of people like, you know, Elizondo and Christopher Mellon to basically step up and, and, you know, write blog posts and so forth and start, start and see all this kind of, you know, all these, all the kind of, uh, ants line up in the jungle, you know, to support the, 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 the most current likely candidate for victory. Right. And if they fall, well, they'll be gladly missed next candidate, please. Right. You know, <laughs> you just keep moving along, you know, I mean, what choice do you have, you know? Well, this is getting big, man. This is getting big, especially for public access to the information. I mean, when we are hearing senators in the U.S. government stating that we really need to bring this out to the public, do you really buy the fact that they are wanting to bring it out to the public or that the people speaking, whether it's Senator Gillibrand, who has the motion on the table right now, do you think they fully understand or comprehend the magnitude of this story? You know, I think sadly, I, I think the sad, I think the real sad truth of the matter is, is when it comes to security, there are probably some very vastly different ships in the night that are passing that explain some of this behavior that have nothing to do with one another, but get globbed all in together, you know? So, you know, is some of it, um, the U.S. maintaining its its military supremacy for for a, with a fifty year head start. Sure, some of it is that you know I'll buy that for for you know no problem. And I think there's a lot of things like that where it's like you know this thing has an impact. This thing I think it's hard to find a single silver bullet that um, that kind of explains explains all of it by by any means, shape, or form. But I think you're starting to see you're starting to see what some of the more likely um, you know what, what some of the more likely suspects are in your in your in your lineup. You know of of uh, of, of you know combatants in the future. Well, I, I will say this on the Max Moskovitz show, out of I believe Denmark. Uh, I think that's where he's located. He recently had on Christopher Mellon, Luis Elizondo, and Avi Loeb, yep. talking about Astro. And Chris Mellon seemed to be very optimistic by his sources that there's a good chance this is going to pass. Yep. Yep. And, and Chris doesn't, um, you know, honestly, I shouldn't even say that, but it's, it's uh, secretary Mellon. Uh, this dude has earned his respect and deserves his respect. Um, he's not someone who took it. He, he, he earned it. Um, he, he's done some magnificent work uh, in his different roles and he really has his, um, he, he has his finger as much on the pulse 
of, of that world as you can, right? There wasn't a reason, you know? Um, you know, he's always going to be surprised. Sure, absolutely. Look what happened with TTSA, right? Everyone thought we were going to get that funding too, you know? Um, so, um, you know, so, you know, things go wrong, but, but I think, I think this time, I think a lot of lessons have been learned and I don't think, mess, I think, I think Mellon would be making that kind of statement. I don't think you'd see people coming in to support this as late in the process as we're seeing right now. If they, like most people in my mind, most people coming out now in support of this are coming because they're, they're, they're buying cover. They're not offering cover, Right. Now, now they're they're seeing this as something that's going to work, and they're trying to get cover from it. They're not they're not people who are are looking for someone straddling in in the field, and they've run out with a bunch of leaves to 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 help block their sunlight so they make it in. That's not this group, right? This is a whole different this is a different scenario. So it's it's um you know it's it's but you know it's it's man it's it's so much fun to watch and and um i didn't get to see, see all of max's uh, max's show but um if anyone hasn't checked it out yet he, he gives he gives a good perspective and uh, and i encourage everyone to check it out what would be the benefit of posting and, and having this program hit law in the united states what what do you mean by that uh, what would be the benefit to not only the united states but the world Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Well, okay, look, here's the deal. This is, this is not, this is not, uh, this is not an if, okay? This is a when. And the when's always had components to it, right? Things that have to happen, right? And, and, you know, we, we all have a basic idea what those components look like. And, um, you know, this looks like the big thing. Like this looks like the thing, the thing, like the thing. And if it stays looking like the thing as, as it continues, and then if they actually get the funding and the people to actually properly build it up, I mean, the, the, the problem is, man, is it, you know, you could, you could have full bipartisan support of this. You could have, you could have every, you could have every major U S news broadcast agency, like, like cheering these guys on, like giving them like, white carpets to walk on and you're still not going to know you're still not going to have any data to say whether how they approached the problem was a successful approach for three years right are we gonna, uh, but are we going to get true transparency out of this john well we will to a degree but once again it all depends on your on your point of view right because i mean look at the look, like okay take for example um uh, the F-35, right? Um, a large percentage of the F-35 technology had to uh, be invented for its use. It didn't invent before we did it. When we invented it, we didn't put it on normal patent cycles. We put it on short shift patent cycles, which means after they go through their normal, a normal short shift, like 15 year, I think it's patent cycle, they get released into the U.S. market for usage. Now, the U.S. market won't even know why they're welding this way. They won't know why they're building this way. They'll just know that they got some update to a patent. And what they won't know is it's, it's got 30, 40, 50 years of U U.S. Navy engineering behind it, right? And that's how a lot of this stuff gets, you know, kind of gets, you know, bled out into 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 the world. And so, I mean, it's, um, yeah, man, I, I don't know, Dave. It, it, it's certainly, um, it's certainly one hell of a time to be alive. I will say that. I mean, it, it is just, um, it is, um, but, I, you know, I think that, I think that when you look at, I think that whenever you're going to have any kind of technology that can be stripped down to a point where it cannot be seen as a real competitive advantage or it can be seen as such a competitive advantage that it's still worth it, like GPS, right? GPS is a really good example, right? GPS is something that the U.S. government has run for Earth for free for a long time. Do we get a lot out of it? Oh, hell yes, we do, right? But we also do it because it's the right thing to do, right? And so, so I think that you will get some things, but anything that's seen as as real military, thirty freaking years lockdown, no one hears a pipe peep, no one hears anything about it. Anything that's considered to be competitive threat on a global scale is done through back channel doors with private companies because it has to be because the Air Force can't build jets, right? They have to ask Lockheed to do it, right? And then for all the stuff that that doesn't potentially offend a, a local treaty doesn't 
uh, uh, potentially affect a, a, a local uh, export law, it, that stuff will become you know open and free. But that's going to be two percent of the technology, right? Five percent of the technology. It'd be the stuff that like cleans water, does that kind of thing. Right. All right. Doctor, give you lightsabers. <laughs> no lightsabers. Damn it. Uh, Doctor Michio yeah. Kaku came out with some interesting comments. Yeah. So the, 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 this is just. I mean, uh, once again, you know, like I, 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 I need to just stop worrying when I when I don't have a strong opinion about something that I'm 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 mentioning. So I, just, I feel like I should be endorsing it if I'm asking you guys to read it. But you know, my problem with some of these guys is that I just I read so much of their stuff that I just you know it gets kind of it gets kind of old hat for me with some of these guys. But the thing that I really liked about what he said was is you can see in this language he's he's getting much freer to the way he talks and the way he's talking about what are the what are the likely hypotheses for explanations of what we're seeing and and now not just saying you know you see an evolution i guess is what i'm getting at right it it, it went from you know just um you know it's not alien structure and now it's it's off world and then it's there's you know there's off there's off planet versus there's off this there's under the, you can start seeing the language evolve right and the and the terminology evolve and so forth, and and you're seeing you know people from very different walks of life participate in it. Now sure you could put your tinfoil hats on and go oh it's a conspiracy someone's handing out new vocabulary lists for each week. Yes he, here's here's your word bill right like no, i don't think it quite happens that way but um you know it it, it um you know it, it definitely is um it is definitely a huge it's huge progress and it's 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 fun to watch and it's fun to see people like um professor um uh uh, uh, uh professor uh, kaku um getting some about you know some about of um i don't know if it'd be credit or praise yet but some recognition for the fact that he stepped out early and, and 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 spoke his views about this stuff. I'm hoping to see more of that. All right, and finally tonight, you know, we're going to see as we talked a little bit just a few moments ago with uh, Senator Gillibrand and her legislation about revolutionizing UFO studies. Have we heard when this is going to come down as of yet? Because I know in p talking to people in the UFO field that I've heard, they're hoping on Monday. But it could be before, could be after. Yeah, the, the problem is these bills are, they're so big. And in the end, they're not fought over the whole thing. They're fought over like, you know, three or four key issues that just end up bubbling up to the surface, you know, at that, you know, at that given evening sort of thing, right? And so um, it depends, you know, if, if a lot of really bad stuff comes out in it, they, they could easily dump it on friday because i mean uh, this is this is one of the best weekends in the in the in the in the u.s year to dump news that you don't want people to look at i mean you you could not ask for a better i mean i guess maybe like maybe like the monday after thank after after christmas day might be a little bit better but not much right i mean it's like you know this is about as dead as news can get and so that, I, i'm very suspicious that that's why this is all happening when it's happening because they're planning on blowing, uh, burning it in the, in the news cycle. I think if it comes out on Monday in in the normal feed and so forth, then I think that means that we actually saw some bipartisan support and people are actually all getting kind of gung ho about it, which would be kind of amazing to see. I'm going to make a prediction here, John. Please. News like this always comes out on a Friday afternoon. We saw it with the National mm -hmm. Department of Defense or the NDI's uh, report, other UFO news has come out on Friday. If the government doesn't want people to speak to them about something and they want to test the public reaction, they have the weekend to do so. I think this comes out this Friday afternoon, sometime between 3 p.m. Pacific time and 6 p.m. Pacific time is when it will be released. That's my opinion. John, always good to have you back here on the My unbiased pleasure. ufo report 